Hey, good morning, and welcome to Singing of Songs with your man, Pastor Reverend Artel Bellman Sr., brought to you today by Spirit of Excellence Ministries, and we are on Singing of Songs Part 5, and look at godly wisdom through the songs, through the psalms, through the Word of God, and we know when we sing, we make activity and we perform songs that were set up or short poems or set to, to music or, you know, things that we sing that speak to our spirit, help us manage our soul, and also help us give direction to our flesh. So as we go through these words, we want to begin with a New Testament scripture. And again, if you haven't had an opportunity to watch the previous episodes, go back and watch those episodes to catch up on where we are right now. But in Ephesians 5, 18 through 20, we'll see these words. And be ye not drunk with wine, where it is in the access, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making a melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God, and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Look, music existed before the earth was formed. Music was in the heavens. There's a heavenly choir. You know, there's a belief in the teaching that the enemy, Satan, led worship because music is something that feeds our God, that worships our God, and it also something because all of us was given a measure of faith and we all have the Spirit of God in us, whether we listen to it, whether we heed to it, whether we allow it to control our emotions and our feelings and our soul, or even our flesh and our bodies and our actions. Music was created by God for such a purpose as this, that we sing psalms, we sing hymns, we sing spiritual songs. We make a melody in our heart that allows us to see people as God sees them and to see ourselves as God sees us. Because when we see people as God sees them, when we see ourselves as God created us, it will, it will allow us to give thanks always for all things because we're not self-dependent we're thankful for what God has given us, and we're thankful for who God is, and we're thankful for His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and we're thankful for His Holy Spirit that leads and guides us in all truth. Hallelujah. So, we're going to begin in Psalms 5. It's going to be the psalm that we go through today. We're going to break it up into different sections, so we'll begin with Psalm 5 in the first verse. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto thy voice of my cry, my King, my God. For unto thee will I pray, my voice shall thou hear in the morning. Our Lord is in the morning, will I direct my prayers unto thee and will look up unto you. Look, the key thing in this verse, or the, in the first couple of verses is that we know we will be heard when we think about God's will and God's words. Look, he says, give ear to me as I meditate on your voice. Give heed to me as I hearken to, as you hearken to my cry, because you are my king and you are my God. Look, you know, Joshua said it this way. God spoke with Joshua. He said, listen, I need you to meditate on my word day and night. And when we meditate on this word day and night, it gives us a peace. It gives us an understanding. It says it gives us an understanding that, that transcends, that things that we understand more based on having the fear of God, singing his words, thinking about his words, thinking about his will, it gives us a peace in all circumstances. Look, verse 4 says, For thou shalt not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, 
Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them. That speak leasing. The Lord will abhor and bloody the deceitful man. Look, praising God, following his will, following the Lord will keep you from wickedness and it will keep you from foolishness. Look, when we are on our own, when we think of things our way, when we think of things how we want them to be without aligning it to God's word, without aligning it to God's purpose, without aligning it to God's design, we become foolish. We lose the sight of God. We listen to the wrong voices. We heed the voice of the enemy. And we become deceitful because in us there is no truth. Look, God is a God of truth. God is a God of grace. When we walk in anger, when we walk in foolishness, when we walk in our forgiveness, when we walk in sin, we are following our father, who, the father of lies. We're following Lucifer. We're following spiritual wickedness and high places. So we have to stay away from those things by pleasing God. And how do we please God? The word of God says, they that love me will honor or keep my commandments. They that love me will love their neighbors as themselves. They that love me will grace people and forgive people, but give them truth in conjunction with that love and that grace. Let's move on. Verse 7 says, But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitudes of thy mercy, and the fear will I worship towards the holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, and thy righteousness because of my enemies make thy waste great before my face for there is no faithfulness in the mouth of their inward hearts of very wickedness their throat is open a open sepulcher they flatter with their tongues look he says listen i want to come into your house praising god the lord jesus christ will keep your household and protect you from your enemies. He says, listen, I need you to leave me. I don't want to leave myself. You know, there used to be an old bumper sticker that said, uh, I will be the co-pilot. In other words, God, you pilot the ship. I am aligning to what you would have me to do. A co-pilot helps the pilot, but does not direct the pilot. He may navigate, he may give information, but he's there to assist the pilot. Praising God, the Lord will keep your household. It will keep your family. It will keep your community. It will keep your church, your house of worship. You know, David said, I was glad unto me when I went into the house of the Lord. When we go into the house of the Lord, we go into the house of the Lord with thanksgiving and with godly praise. We avoid wickedness. We avoid sin. We avoid being individuals who lead people towards wickedness. We point people towards our God. Hallelujah. You know, verse 10 says, destroy them, God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For well, they have rebelled against thee. But let all those who put their trust in, in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them all that love the name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, will favor with thou compass him as with a shield. Look. The simplest way I can say this is godly faithfulness produces blessing and produces favor while assessing the wicked. Wickedness cannot go about without there being a payment for it. The word of God says the wages of sin, which is wickedness, is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Look. Don't be one that 
walk because walks after wickedness and walks after death. But be one who is faithful to God. Be one that allows blessings and the favor and the wisdom and the grace of God to camp around you. Closing scripture, Colossians 3, 15 and 17. And let the peace of God rule in your heart to that which is also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word and deed, do it all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Hey, when you allow, when you know God hears your voice, when you know that you're walking in his will, when you know praising God, the Lord will keep you from wickedness and foolishness. When you know praising God and pleasing God will help keep your household, help keep your family, help keep your church, help impact your community, and therefore impact the word, the world, and, peck and, and, and protect you from your enemies. When you know God is faithful, he produces blessings, he produces favor, but he also assess wickedness you can then walk in godly peace because he is your protector and he is your god he is your lord and he is your peace hey may the grace of god keep you hey may the blessing of god encamp around you hey may the favor of god prosper you until next time